Lindor Championships in Glasgow in early March. Meantime, back here in Boston, fabulous field set up for the men's 1500 meters. Trey Hardy joins me for the call. You see the world and American record. But if you dial back a couple of years ago, a fabulous upset win in Oregon. Jake Whiteman, the world champion then, is finally back and healthy. Yeah, what a race to be able to sit and watch him nip Jakob Ingebrigtsen at the line for the world title. His father on the PA, on the call for the whole stadium. There he is, Jeff Whiteman, announcing his son once again at a major, major race. But unfortunately, later that in that fall in preparation for the 2023 season, sprained a little part in his foot and had to sit out and and could have rushed it back he said could have made a season of it but wanted to focus on this year and this preparation for the paris games and while he runs for a club called the very nice track club when Hobbs ketzler gets on the track he can be kind of a pain in your side don't let it fool you this is one of the fastest men on the planet he's only 20 years old but already with a major title to his name this fall, winning the World Athletics Road Mile Championships, taking down a field much his senior. He's sneaky good. <laughs> and that marked when they actually established the official world record in the road mile. And so Hobbs Kessler also world record holder, which was a nice way to finish off the year last year. You mentioned the 20-year-old from Ann Arbor, Michigan. That's where he is up in training, and there he is, shoulder to shoulder with Jake Whiteman, who was unable to defend his title. Josh Kerr, the winner of that battle with Ingebrigtsen last year on the track in Budapest. So lots of intriguing storylines in this event group. As we get things underway, Trey, we'll have a pace setter out in front. That's Abe Alvarado, who will set the early pace for the first step. Uh, it's a thousand meters. They'll send him out for the first five laps of this race. You know, indoors is a really interesting thing. It's a, it's a lot of men out there bunched up, running up this big hill. But this, these 200 meter segments with a timer right there, right at the line, allows them to really click off and stay on pace and be kind of within themselves, not look up and all of a sudden be be out of place here. And, and yeah, the storylines we're talking about, it's interesting how much this really mimics what we were talking about in the women's 3000 with Ellie St. Pierre having a year off, Jake Whiteman having a year off coming back into form. Will he remember how this feels? Will he remember what it's like to, to go neck and neck all the way through something this fast? Behind Alvarado is Vincent Ciotti. Legion standout All-American while at Virginia Tech. Finished 10th at the Olympic Trials in 2021. And then it's Kessler behind him, then Whiteman, Sam Prakel, and then Craig Engels. Maybe shorter hair than you're used to seeing, but Engels usually easy to pick out as well. U.S. champion himself trying to be in the mix here. Kieran Lum right behind him. Fabulous field here. Single file as they come to the line with four laps to go. It's always just so exciting in watching a young U.S. distance star tr make that transition, whether it's from high school to college or high school straight to the professional ranks as Hobbs has done. But watching them fulfill that, that promise that everybody tends to see in these young men and women. And Hobbs has been able to do that. And it's no, sh it's no small task. The man on his heels has stood atop the world before. And I'm anxious to see what you mentioned, what Craig Engels has in store for us. He raced last week. He just said, you know, he finished just off the podium, ran a, ran a very respectable time, but said, I got that, that doesn't cut it. Respectable times don't, aren't going to do it for me anymore. I've got to win these races. And so he's definitely going to stick his nose in. He's not going to wait around and sit. We see Ingles now moving out of the lane two, trying to move up on the outside to gain contact past Prankle and behind Whiteman. So Ciotti now with the lead. We have a fall down back behind the racing here. As we get back to the racing up in front, Kessler and Whiteman both pass Ciotti. Ingles carrying along there back in fifth. Lap and a half to go. Everybody's preparing for this run up right here. That was the slowest lap, and this one is much, much quicker, Paul. They're winding up. 
Look at Kessler begin to open up the legs here as he goes around for the last lap of this 1500 against the world champion from Oregon back in 2022. And he's got daylight, but here comes Whiteman. Into the final stretch, Whiteman. Does he have enough real estate to try to catch him? Kessler trying to hold on, and he will at the line. And he takes the victory in 333-66. A fabulous race here for Hobbs Kessler as he becomes the number three all-time U.S. indoors at 1,500 meters. Hobbs Kessler looked like a 10-year middle distance running veteran right there. Sat where he needed to sit, stayed on the inside rail, made the move that Jake could not cover about 350 meters out, and it was just too much. Closed it with a 26-second last lap, and you can see right here, Jake probably thinks he's got him. He's going to start reeling him in. It was just too far to overcome, Paul. And into that final stretch, Kessler with enough ground, and look at the celebration there. And this sport can be all about momentum. So going to Riga last year and winning that World Road Mile, coming here to Boston up against a former world champion, Sounds like a very nice day for a guy from the very nice track club, Hobbs Kessler, who's down with Lewis Johnson. All right, Hobbs, our Paul was talking about momentum and having great races and carrying that on. What does this potentially start for you in 2024? Um, I knew I was in really good form, but training can go well and you can still race bad. So happy to have someone on paper. Um, I, I'm really, really proud of the win. Uh, good field. Just happy to. Uh, prove that things are going well, you know? Yeah. You feel that pressure from Jake Whiteman behind you, and how do you think you thought about it, responded to it here today? I was just trying to stay as relaxed as possible, put my feet down. Um, something I've really been working on is not tying up when I'm trying to run really hard. So just trying to do it as smooth as possible, even though the world champions got me scoped. <laughs> exactly. Great run today. Congrats. Thank you, Lewis.